Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jimblade eight three zero four here, and today I am doing an unscripted analysis of the Lego Ninjago movie trailer. Um, I was inspired by this by some other people I was watching recently. Um, but I am doing an unscripted analysis of the trailer. But first, I will let it play through, and I'll go back and give you my thoughts. So here we go. Okay. Okay, so that, that the trailer was interesting. I'm gonna see what else is here. So, okay, that's that's just something for the channel that I played this from. Credit to Zero Media for providing this. Um, so now I will turn down the volume on this, and then actually I'll leave it up a little bit so we can hear what they're saying, and then we'll play it again. So you got the Warner Bros. logo there, and then Warner Animation Group, the group that apparently animated this movie. Um. At first, I actually thought these were all just huge stop motions, like like super long, full length stop motion movies. But apparently, I was wrong. Um, apparently, they're just it's it's animated. Some of it's stop motion, apparently. But um, tell me what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, I love to hear you guys' thoughts. But anyway, keep keep going with this, and you see we got. Our first look at Ninjago City with a little fleet of vehicles coming in in a faraway land. So, well, you obviously know that's Lego Universe. And these kind of these vehicles, right? Uh, if I back it up a little, back to um, in a faraway land. Those vehicles kind of remind me of the Milano from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy in a way. Um, again, tell me what you guys think in the comments below, um, so anyway, we'll keep going, there's that guy, that, that guy, at first I thought this guy here was Cole, honestly, I really did, I thought he was Cole, but apparently not, because Cole had a different hairpiece, you see there's a little baby there, it's awesome, and he has like a little motorbike, I thought this was Cole, I honestly really did, tell me what you guys first thought in the comments below, again, um, I just want to hear what you guys think about this trailer. Um, I'm excited for the movie, but I'm a little bit upset that it's going in a different direction than the TV show. You see, we got, um, bye.
if I keep up. You see, we got these little, like, it looks like a jellyfish warrior, I guess, supposedly. They're human, but, well, they're Lego, but they're Lego humans, per se. Um, so I don't really know what's going on. I think they're like a shark, like, like ocean warriors, creatures that worship Garbodon. Kind of like the Andriculturists with Chen, if you think about the TV show. Like that, I mean... Something like that, along the line of that. Threatened by darkness. You see the little giant shark back there where Garnon's riding. You see a bunch of civilians. It's kind of this kind of reminds me of Ray's hair piece um, from Dragon's Forge. That set kind of reminds me of that. That Gar and if we go back a little bit, there's there's our first look of Garnon in the trailer. You see the helmet. It's a nice piece. I actually like this helmet piece. You see he has four arms. So that that's pretty cool, I guess. Um so um we'll keep going. Defended by honor. We get our first look at the ninja. There's Lloyd, Nia, Kai, Zane, Cole, and then Jay's right there. So we'll keep going. And we saw a picture of Lloyd's massive dragon. They are scaling this down for the set now because I saw the set images. Um, I'll have to do a, like an analysis of them and then comment down below if you want to see that. Um, I will be I'll be I'll be up for that. Um, I have a whole summer of videos to record, so you know. What's one more video to the list? And you see we have Lloyd jumping there, and you see he they're fighting. He's fighting the uh, the shark people. You see they have the yellow face like a normal, regular Lego person. Well, most Lego people actually. Some of them have like a tannish or a different color face. Because some of them are like Pirates of the Caribbean or Star Wars or the Stone Warriors from Ninjago. You know, anything like that along that line. The Moro, the Ghost Ninja or some stuff along that line. Um, you see we have like a crab guy there, I guess. And we have like a, an octopus or a squid guy. And we have like a fish shooting out of like one of them stud shooter pieces. But anyway. And then Garmin says, are you ready for me to conquer Ninjago? And this piece kind of, they have like tridents. So you can tell they're like ocean warriors. They have snakes coming out of the helmets. Kind of like the Vermilion did, if you remember in my Hands of Time sets reviews. And my, in the ranking them, my final thoughts of them. Um, they had that. And then you see all the vehicles come in. There's Zane's there and Kai's mech. I definitely love this mech. One of the best Kai vehicles I've ever seen. I definitely love Kai's mech. It's just awesome. And you see Kai, Zane's, Kai, Lloyd, Cole. This is Nia now. And up. I don't know if I go back a little bit. Um. And then up here on the top left is Jay. You can't see it very well, but it's Jay, Nia, Cole, Lloyd, Kai's mech, and then Zane's little vehicle. They are scaling these sets down. Um, Jay's thing is going to be a set. This is going to be a set, I believe. I'm not sure about this or Zane's vehicle yet. But it's going to be pretty hard to make this into a set because it has one big wheel. Um, but they are scaling down Lloyd's dragon, so we'll continue. The forces of good and evil. Lloyd mumbles under his breath, Dad. Like, for Garmin. But Garmin actually hears him, so. Are related. The forces of good and evil. Really. What was that last thing you said? What? That last part. They didn't catch it. Well, I, I, I didn't say anything. What do you mean? I didn't. Well, I, I said I'll be waiting and then I stopped talking. And then they take some time to that. The Lloyd. And, he said, and Garmin says, The Lloyd. And he said it was just Lloyd. And the Lloyd said, That's right. Your son, and it's Lloyd. Your son, and it's Lloyd. No. And Garon says no. L L O Y D. I named you. L L O Y D. I named you. You ruined my, my life. life. Lloyd says. <laughs> and Garon says. Garon says that's not true. I wasn't even. Been, been, I haven't even been a part of your life. How can I ruin it? I wasn't even there. It's not true. I haven't even been a part of your life. How can I ruin it? I wasn't even there. Baby, now we and got then back. Now that Carol's son, Bad Boy, starts playing. 
from the Female Assembly, the Legend movie, and the Legend Batman movie. Um, I actually saw both of them. Really good me movies. Um, love the Batman movie. Love the Lego movie. Um, see Kai's mech there. See and you know, shooting out fire. Love it. And Kai's using um, the Day of the Departed armor. Okay, I'm not sure if you saw it, but Kai was using the Day of the Departed armor. Are you ready to risk your life? And yes, you, to um, you see Cole gets some arm printing, Lloyd gets arm printing, and Neo gets arm printing in these sets. The only minifigure that we have with arm printing is Cole RX. I've mentioned that in multiple, multiple videos. I've mentioned that in my, my last couple videos, actually, for the Hands of Time thing. As I mentioned, they should have put the snake details on the vermilion, but they didn't, so. And so we got, is that Emmett? I, could, I swear, that's Emmett. I think Emmett's going to make an appearance in the Ninjago movie. That's going to be really cool. See, it's Emmett Terrapiece. And Garmin Sharp looks like it's getting ready to eat Emmett. And you have these vehicles up here all around where my mouse is going. And we'll continue. Garmadon! Garmadon! And everybody Garmadon! says Garmadon. And the baby says Garmadon is hilarious. I'm stuck. And it's a little scene between these two characters. So not very really important. I promise I'll never forget you! I didn't ask you to promise that. Come back! Here we go! Uh, Lloyd's there. And then there's like a flashback for Will and Garmadon. He has like a jungle hat, I guess, apparently. I don't know. Which is confusing. And then Lloyd's fighting the shark people while holding a baby with a refrigerator, so you know, it's kind of funny. And Lloyd says, Evil Dad. He says, Evil Dad, do not answer, but he answers it anyway. Hello? Who is that? And Garmadon apparently butt dialed him, so. This is Lloyd Garmadon, your son. Mm, I must have butt dialed you. And then Lloyd's just there like, oh, like, oh my god, why, why, just why did I have to be part of this world? That's what, that's probably what's going through his head. And the logo, I'm going to pause here for a second. I love the logo. The logo is just awesome. It looks really good. It, it's like the Lego Ninjago series logo, but instead it's made out of Lego. And it says the Lego Ninjago movie. So... And all the vehicles are pulled into the garage. What Kai's neck does, it sits down in the chair and then pulls up the little planner. That's okay, pretty Lloyd. funny. Nobody's parents are perfect. And Nia says nobody's parents are perfect. And then Jay says, and Jay says his mom collects seashells, so they're weird. They've all got their quirks, you know. It's weird and collects seashells. Your dad levels cities and attacks innocent people. So, they've all got their quirks, you know. In September, so I can't wait for that. Um. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to comment down below what your favorite part of the trailer is. If you're excited for the movie or not, I know I am. But you can tell me what your thing is. And don't forget, my 30-day challenge will be starting soon. I have everything ready. I just need to record the videos. So stick around for that. And with that said, this is Ginblade8304 signing off.